So if you're using Windows 11 on a low-end PC or laptop, chances are the experience is not that great. And if you're thinking about switching to Chrome OS Flex, then you might want to know how it compares to Windows 11. So watch this video till the end. Also don't forget to like this video and let's get started. So this is the app launcher of the Chrome OS Flex and it resembles closely that of Windows 10 if you remember. And uh, the difference here we have the Google Assistant in build which is really helpful to control your smart devices and ask questions. And so Google Assistant is a big advantage here. So many of you might know that Google Chrome OS Flex does not support the Android. So all of the apps that you see here are the web apps. But we have Linux support which opens up a whole new opportunities for a lot of applications. So I have two Linux app store here and both of them has a variety of applications from the popular one to the little known ones. And we also have a lot of games which most of them are the 2D games or the old school games. But like how we can install the Steam application on Windows and install multiple PC games, we can also install Steam on the Chromos Flex and once you have installed it and opened it and if you want a tutorial I will make a separate video for that but once you open the application you will see that it's the exactly same application that we have on the windows but the difference here is that not all the games will be playable because some of them only work on windows but you can go ahead and search for Linux and then select the Linux plus Steam OS and all the games that are mentioned here will be uh, you can play them on the Chromos Flex and some of them you may need to buy but these games will work so I have installed a game called the Metro last night the performance is not that great because I'm currently screen recording and also my processor is kind of weak um, but you can tell uh, through this uh, gameplay that it is playable and you can play multiple games if they are supported on the Linux platform you can play that, those games on the Chrome OS Flex as well so it's good to see that we have that support for the Chrome OS Flex So browsing is one of the many main use case for many users and uh, with the latest update now we have a full fledged chrome browser on the chrome os flex with multiple account support and profile support as well so the same experience that you get on the windows you will find it here as well and we also have this uh, multitasking screen so you can just uh, snap your one application at one at the end of the screen and open up another application so for multitasking also it's really great we have the file manager which is also advanced we'll talk more about it in a second so we also have support for the chrome extensions so all of the features will work here in the latest chrome browser now coming to the file manager so we have uh, what we call the new window so it works like a new tab in the windows explorer if you uh, have used that so we can actually uh, use them side by side and if you want to drag and drop files from one folder to another you can do that so that's a really good feature so apart from browsing we have a lot of coders that use their low-end pc or they buy it for coding so we can actually install the microsoft visual code uh, through the terminal or through the app store and additionally we have a lot of other programming tools that uh, the coders will find useful on the app store and for those who work from home we can make use of zoom to, uh, to attend the online meeting or we can use the google meet for the conference and video calls so that is always good to have and it makes a uh, chrome OS flex that much usable and for office work the ms office is a must but we do not have that official support here but we can use LibreOffice, which is an alternative and works uh, really well or you can use the google docs you can install the ms office unofficially i will have that video in the description we even have a really good video editing tool called the Caden live which is a very popular open source video editor we have multiple layers option effects and all that and if you want to use all your files and elements make sure that in the file manager you have all those files in the the linux files section and not the regular file section so you can easily import them and use them and edit those videos now coming to the settings the i have found the settings to be much better and simplified than the windows in the windows the settings are all over the place but it is very simplified here we can have we have the bluetooth option 
the Wi-Fi networks connections and everything we also have the Android phone which is similar to that of Windows phone link so you can access all your notifications and everything right from the Chrome OS Flex you do not have to leave it you can also use the nearby share of course to share files between our computer and phone now the personalization section we have a lot of options so in the latest update we also got the support for the material U and uh, we can change colors according to the wallpaper or from these uh, the given uh, combination of colors you can check out side by side how the windows 11 quick toggles look so in the new update we also have the options to cast out screen directly to our chromecast so you can use your chrome chromos flex on a bigger screen if you want you can just directly cast it there and we also have a lot of options related to accessibility and of course we have the different colors we can also have the new restart option so previously they did not have the restart option now we finally have it so it's coming really close to being a really usable uh, operating system than it was ever before so apart from all these uh, colors and customization we also have support for the screen savers which looks really good you can check that out in my previous video uh, moving on we have other settings related to the security pain password and accessibility and a lot of really good features uh, like options and uh, features if you want to use it you can see and try them for yourself so source we can also if you want to enable the linux you need to enable it from the developer options and if you go to the diagnostics you can also check out similar to that of windows taskbar you can check how much battery health like mine is 22 percent is really bad so i cannot comment on battery life of the chrome OS flex you can check out how the resources how much it is being used and uh, you, you can see a lot of ram has been uh, being occupied so i will suggest you if you're not using the linux to right click on the linux terminal then shut down linux and this is going to free, uh, free up a lot of memory so if you're not using the linux i would suggest you do that then you can continue on using the browser or anything else and you can see usually it's really light on the ram usage so i've tried to include all the basic uses that we do regularly on our computer and if you have any more questions you can always leave them in the comments and all of the all out of the videos related to the chromos flex has been up on my challenge including how to install linux how to install linux app store or the ms office and all out of them additionally i will be coming with new more updated videos on how to uh, install some additional stuff or try out new linux applications on the chromos flex because the compa compatibility with these applications has been improving since the uh, beginning now before it i was crashing a lot all of the linux applications but right now um, they are much better and much stable than before and lastly to install chrome os flex on your computer or laptop make sure to check out the chrome os flex playlist so that was it for this video i hope you like this one and i'll see you in the next one